Hi, this is M. Venugopal, Senior Embedded Expert, currently associated with the Embedded Software Labs. Today I am going to discuss how the X86 family memory is divided into four segments. The memory is divided into four segments that is code segment, data segment, extra segment and stack segment. And the XR6 family has this registers, code segment register associated with the code segment memory, data segment register associated with the data, extra segment registers associated with the extra segment memory, and stack segment register associated with the stack. Now how these registers are being used, which registers are used for the which memory, we are going to discuss now. The code segment, if you see registers, this register is used in conjunction with the extended instruction pointer to determine the address of the next instruction to be executed, as we all know. No other registers are associated with the code segment. So instruction pointer is basically used for the code segment to address it. Then the stack segment, this register is used in conjunction with the stack pointer for the stack operations and the base pointer also associated with the stack segment. So usually stack segment memory is associated with the stack pointer and the base pointer. The data segment registers by default when the general purpose registers like EAX, EBX, ECX, EDX and ESI and EDI. ESI is a source index and DI is the destination index are used as index registers. They refer to these segments. In 16-bit processors, this includes only the BX source index and the destination index. Any direct reference to the memory, for example, move AX comma some value count or count one is data segment relative. The last one is extra segment registers can be used as needed by the programmer. But with the string instructions, ED and DI is associated with the extra segment rather than with the data segment. Now these four segments, <coughs> when we write a program in C programming, when we write this program, in the user context, of the process consists of portions of this address space that are accessible to the process while it is running in the user mode. So this <coughs> code segment is referred to as a text and data segment is again divided into three areas initialized read only data, initialized read write data and uninitialized data and the extra segment is referred with the heap and stack segment with the stack. As you see now, we are mapping these four segments with respect to the typical arrangements of the user's process. I am explaining you, you can see in the, this drawing. So now looking into the text portion, the text portion of the process contains the actual machine instructions that are also executed by the hardware. On many operating systems, this portion of a process is set as a read only, so that the process cannot modify its instructions. This allows multiple instances of the single program to share a single copy of the text. Then the data portion contains the program's data and now that is divided into four, three sections that is initialized read only data contains the data elements that are initialized by the program and read only while the process is executing. This area can be used for items such as literal strings that the programmer can initialize but not change. Not many operating systems however currently support a read-only data area. The next section, as you see in the drawing, 
initialized read write data contains data elements that are initialized by the program and may have their values modified during the execution of the process the last section is uninitialized data contains the data elements that are not initialized by the program but are set to zero before the process starts execution this may be modified during the execution of the process usually in the unix operating system system calls this has a uninitialized data area and this is called as a bss that is block started by symbol the advantage of providing uninitialized data is that the system does not need to allocate space in the program file for this area the next one is the heap is used while a process is running to allocate more data space dynamically to the process the stack segment is used dynamically while the process is running to contain the stack frames that are used by many programming languages this stack frames contains a return address linkage for each function call and also the data elements required by the function as you as you see in the uh, drawing a gap is shown between the heap and the stack to indicate that many operating systems leave some room between these two portions so that both can grow dynamically during the execution of the process the this area between the heap and the stack is also where the shared memory segment are usually allocated now i will going to write one program to explain how these segments are being used I am writing int debug equal to one char star program and main function with argument c and argument v and in within this function int argument c char star argument v and int i and call char star ptr and star malloc function program is equal to argument v and print of statements with strings. and for loop and you have the malloc functions string copy function now looking into this program how these variables are being stored in the for segment i will going to explain you now the strings in the program like argument c equal to percentage d new line and percentage s new line can be stored in as a read only data the integer variable debug is initialized to 1 so obviously it is stored in the initialized read write data and the character pointer program is an uninitialized read write variable it is stored in the uninitialized read write data the variable i and ptr are automatic variables in a function that is main as a function they are stored in the stack while the main function is being executed finally the storage space allocated by the malloc function is on the heap the function malloc from the standard c library allocates dynamic storage its arguments specify the number of bytes required and it returns a pointer to the allocated area the machine instructions comprising the functions main printf string length string copy and malloc which are written in the program are all stored in the text segments so today in this class 
we have discussed how the x86 memory is stored how is memory is segmented and those segments are mapped into the c programming and it is represented how they are represented in text data sections three data sections heap and stack and we have written a program here and all this program is being stored in that particular segments so thank you very much for today all the best